This is a quick video to show how to install thermostats in a Ford Flathead V8 that didn't originally come with thermostats or thermostat housing. These are the thermostats I used. I got them from Napa. They're actually a Moto Rad thermostat. You can probably find them cheaper somewhere else. I had to pay close to $19 a piece for them. I chose these because they were 160 degree thermostats and they were fairly close to the size of the water neck coming out of the head on the flathead v8 the outer diameter of the fitting on my engine anyway is about 1.9 inches in diameter the inside diameter is about 1.48 inches so the inside diameter of this thermostat would fit down in the hole and then i plan to trim the outer diameter to get it to fit up inside the hose here you can see if we trim off the outer embossed lip, we'd be right about 1.9 inches, which is the outer diameter of the water jacket neck. This picture shows in progress trimming off the embossed lip just with a pair of tin snips. After it was trimmed, it was right at 1.9 inches, and that's what we we're looking for. Here I drilled two 532 inch bypass holes that also serve as the tie down points for the thermostat in the water, jack water jacket neck. Make sure when you drill these holes they are perpendicular to the crossbar on the thermostat or you'll run into the mounting structure on the backside. This shows where to drill through. The water neck, I used a 764 drill bit. It was the smallest drill bit I could find that would allow me to drill through both sides of the water neck in one step. When you drill the hole, make sure it's just below the raised lip where the hose clamp would tighten on so that when you tighten the hose clamp down, you are below the holes you're drilling. This is the hold down wire I used. I just happened to have it. It's stainless steel. Uh, fishing line is what it is. This happened to be an 86 pound test. A very, very fine wire. Be careful when working with this. It's needle sharp on the end and it'll poke your finger. Here's the way to route the wire so that it does not interfere with the bulb on the thermostat or interfere with the spring operation. Here's a view of the final install with the thermostat wired down. The vent holes are visible and ready for the hose to slip back over top and clamp it down below the place where you drilled the hole in the water neck.